Hey guys, what's going on? Buffy here. This is a commentary video of some gameplay on Hui City with the combat engineer role, Trent Shoddy with the double up buck loadout. I'm going to try and go into through my uh, thought process as well as some strategies with this class and in general that I employ on Hui City. Uh, the footage starts after we've taken A and B as they were surprisingly taken with the relative ease and little combat on my end. So there really wasn't much to see there. We're going to start off here. We're above uh, the ammo depot and we're just trying to clear out any remaining Charlies that may be here. Anytime you hear a shot, I kind of investigate. So that's how I get some easy kills there. The dude who threw a nade. So I just chucked the Willy Pete out there and I get lucky on that one. Throw the uh, C4 for good measure too, and that also strikes home. So sometimes you can just get really lucky with the Willy Pete and uh, nades because they're generally going to still be around Charlie after you've taken it, or after or, uh, Bravo after you've taken it. Going through the tunnels, uh, probably not the best idea because you can tell they're already there. They've already been shooting. Um, we had a flamer try and go through there and clear it out. And yeah, I'm not sure what I was going to do here. Um, smoke it and rush it, I guess, but I get TK'd and it happens. So now we're on the north side uh, going towards Charlie. And you can see there's an MG up there. You can see all those uh, green tracers coming out. So I spot him just so um, any thumper or MG can uh, light it up if they're paying attention and use their HUD. Um, nine times out of ten, there's people up on that uh, up top of Charlie, so. I take this uh, Willy Pete and throw it at an angle here, and it actually lands uh, on top, um, kind of where they all hang out. So um, I'll show you that. Oh no, I'm so sorry. So if you go, this is usually where U.S. squad leaders like to hang out down here, and um, if you just throw a Willy Pete or a grenade caddy corner or at a diagonal, um, it should land behind this shed here or in front of it rather. And, um, you know, Vietnamese usually hang out around there, so not a bad tactic to use there, especially with Combat Engineer, because you've got C4 and Willy Pete, and you can always pick up grenades. Here, we're kind of pinned down by our own AC-47, so we wait that out, and we uh, start to push up on this north side. It's not a bad uh, AC-47, it's just it kind of was bad timing, I guess you'd say, as we were trying to push up. So I go for the same thing. I toss this one a little steeper, trying to get it uh, further back. Still get one. Um, and I think I get one with the residual effect too. So that's something that um, you can always use with the Willy Pete's is it's got that lingering effect that'll burn people. Toss the C4 up there for good measure. It's got a pretty big blast radius. That was a pretty good place to throw it. Uh, try and climb up on this bush. This is an old spot that if you played uh, Hawaii City back in the day, you could climb up there and people who didn't know about it would have no idea where you were. <laughs> that guy popped out of nowhere, so um, I tried to make sure that I, because um, I, I use manual bolting, so I had to uh, make sure that I actually cocked the uh, shotgun or charged it, whatever you want to say. And this is the backside of the Charlie, I don't know what you call it, the parapet or something. So I'm just starting nade spamming that, hoping to get some people. Uh, if, if anything else, it distracts them. One guy came down and uh, <laughs> made sure he took care of me. So got a pretty sick kill on this guy because um, it actually was behind the metal. I think maybe a part on the left got him, but all the impacts were on the metal. And there was another guy back there, so I throw this Wooly P to get him. Like I said, the lingering effect will actually prevent them from coming in from that direction anyway, so that's another benefit to that. Stay away from F6. Stay away from F6. We are taking Charlie. So now we're just trying to take Charlie and we're holding this um, bottom area. Usually pretty good unless they're smart and throw nades down there. But I don't know. I think they try to throw some nades from the front, not necessarily from the sides. So I, I kind of move out of there and try and get a different position, prevent people from coming and uh, getting set up in that tunnel down there. You can see one in the back there by that shed. And that's not a bad place to defend from either, unless uh, people know about it. 
and I know about it because I go there sometimes. So here we're spawning in a really weird place. Um, the squad leader is an MG. Uh, one reason why I'm not playing squad leader is because I am playing combat engineer. Um, you want to spawn as many times as possible to make use of all your C4 and Willy Peets. Anytime you go to a resupply, you get two, uh, so you get an extra Willy Pete and an extra C4. So it's kind of a big deal to go to resupplies too. And if you're playing squad lead, you're staying alive, so you're not going to get the most uh, use out of either the flamethrower or the shotgun or grease gun or whatever you're using. I think I actually got yeah, on to him about it. I was telling him to move, but yeah, you know, you know how people are. So now we're going to, I'm going to the left side here or the south side, which is a really bad idea because you can see there's no cover and we have no smokes and there's a guy up on the wall shooting at me. I don't know how I lived. It looks like he hit me three or four times. So we're just going to bandage and then we're going to try and deal with him by throwing some Willie Pete. Uh, it just, being prone and throwing this, it's just, it doesn't have the range. Uh, so it falls short. And I tossed a C4 over there for some reason, I'm not sure why. Uh, we know we know where they are, they're up here. And uh, I see the guy running and I made the mistake of shooting him, even yeah, though he couldn't see me. We got the north and the south covered. <laughs> I don't know what happens there, but in this game, man, if you hold left click and sprint sometimes, it'll throw it, and it's, yeah. So we get one with the C4 and we set off a tripwire trap to kill another guy, but that other guy is still up there and I commit a cardinal sin in gaming. You, you're you going back to the guy who killed you and this is usually a bad idea. But I see that tunnel so I know I gotta do something, right? Gotta get that tunnel. If I get the tunnel, delays in 30 seconds from being over there, respawning over there. Get the tunnel and a guy, so... Not a bad life, but yeah, I guess still, I think that's a different guy. We eventually clear it out uh, and we take Charlie. So now we're pushing on the south side here towards Echo. And this isn't a bad spot to have a shotgun, but it gets progressively worse in my decision making. I go to the area where you're not gonna really be able to kill anyone with a shotgun. Um, so this is a bad idea on my part. Uh, I scan it. I scan it decently well though You'd maybe be able to reach out to some of these spots, but in the long straightaway is just too long for this shotgun and it just wouldn't work out so Get shot from the left side. I don't know where he is Show me with a Mosin though, so I can probably take him And I just throw a Willie Pete out here um, just kind of distract him and flush him out uh, But I actually get lucky enough that I actually get the kill so You know sometimes you get lucky And sometimes it's better to be lucky than good So now I got to cross this street and luckily I don't think they have anyone on the street itself at least not yet I think they're mostly at Delta um, There's a guy over here on this little balcony. You can barely see him as I'm running He, he hid, hid back and then he popped out and popped me. So of course what do I want to do? I want to go back and get him you want to secure that kill because you know where he is, right? I, assuming he stays in the same spot, but I throw a Willy P and it lands short. So I toss the C4. It's got a bigger blast radius and it shows 15 points again, um, but only one kill. So I don't know. I don't know what the scoring system is anymore. We take Echo pretty easily because I think the majority of them are in Delta. So I go up into the attic. Make sure the attic's clear. This is a good place for them to hide out. Um, you get a lot of vantage points from up there. And you go up on the roof. If you don't know about this roof, this roof is really, really awesome. Got a sniper up there with the Mosin. I'm not sure why I picked it up. I think my thought process here was that I was going to snipe into Delta. Or snipe people as they come out. But it's a really short range. I think this is like 50 meters maybe towards uh, where they spawn. At Delta, this is fine, right? If you could actually see them. But there's kind of a lot of obstructions between uh, Echo and Delta there. I'm going to start chucking some nades. Um, uh, the resupply is right below me, so it's not really a big deal if I waste them. I do get a kill with the Mosin Sniper, though, so it's not all lost, but... Nine times out of ten, you'd probably be better off just sticking with a shotgun because the shotgun kind of allows you to pop up and take pop shots or pot shots and um, 
it's probably you're probably gonna be a lot more successful doing that than you would with this Mosin sniper. So I know we've got at least one friendly who's watching this exit, so I kinda wanna focus on this other one, but they come out of that one. So I've got two kills with the Mosin sniper, so it's not all bad, but you can just tell that I'm just wasting time up here really. Um, because they're not pushing Echo, I think they're just trying to hold Delta. So I think maybe now as we Delta. as we're taking Delta that they're gonna try and push Echo, which is a mistake. Um, you wanna hold the one you have. And I, I go to the pistol. That's kind of my desperation act there. And there's an RPD behind me, so the RPD gets me, and naturally I do what I'm not supposed to do, right? I, I try and get revenge. Um, you just really don't want to do that because number one, this guy he knows what he's doing. Uh, he he's not a bad player at all, and so he moved. He's always moving, and here. I see the tracer, and I look up there, but I couldn't tell exactly where it came from. Um, and so I'm watching, looking for any movement, but I don't see any movement. So I'm moving, and then I see the, tra the green tracer's coming right at me, and then by that point it's too late. So I think, okay, well he's probably still up in that attic, it's a really good spot, he probably wouldn't leave the attic, right? But um, he did move, and so I tried to get him, I think he's back there. And so I did get him, but I got a teammate. Uh, I would take the TK, just because it prevents so many more of oh, that guy killing other people with RPD. Now just scanning. Um, the shotgun's just so good with this, because you can just, you can scan, duck behind a wall, pop up, take a shot, and then uh, reload. And here's that ammo resupply I was talking about. So now I have two Willy Peets and two um, C4s. I really couldn't prevent that. I tried to tell him um, on the voice chat, but he wasn't listening or I couldn't get through to him in time. So I primed that nade. Most of the time I do prime Willy Peets. That by the time it lands, there's, there's no reaction time for them. Always toss C4s and nades over this wall right here because nine times out of ten, you're going to have uh, squad tunnels over there. In this whole courtyard, they're usually hanging out. Five, four, and eight. Move your marks forward. There was someone back there. I guess he kind of got the was coming from spawn. Squad leader's doing okay. He's not he's not in the best position because the whole team I think is pushing up on the other side. So we're kind of just lagging behind on this side. Bank shot here. You can hear the Vietnamese guy say something. I don't know. I guess he says grenade. Two kills with the Willy Pete. You're already up on your uh, KD ratio by that point if you care. The Willy Pete spam is real and it's really effective. I mean it's just it's so good. It's it's a lot better than the C4. If I could take an extra Willy Pete instead of C4 I'd probably do that too. The only thing is Willy Pete doesn't take out tunnels. The MG was hanging out over here, and then we actually find a tunnel. And I just try and tell the, the flamer that, hey, that's not smoke, that's Willy Pete, don't go in there. This whole side here is really bad because I have a shotgun, and it's really wide open and long, and it's just not a good idea to use the shotgun over here. Probably be a lot better off going on the other side of the map, where there's just kind of like those little courtyards. Yeah, I didn't look at the map before I threw that Willy Pete, so that was on me. So now, when I threw the C4, I did check the map, and... Go in here, there's usually tunnels on the other side of this wall right here, so but I wasted my C4. And when I picked up my shotgun, I didn't had I hadn't charged it, so I had to like fuck around with it and got me killed. If you do use manual bolting, you can shoot faster, um, because essentially you double click and it will reload the, re the uh, shell faster, but if you forget to do it, then it costs you your life. And that's pretty serious in this game, not really. <laughs> So again, you just toss C4, you just toss your really piece over these walls, because they're 9 times out of 10, they're hanging out. And I say 9 times out of 10, that's just saying, that just means, you know, most of the time. And then I get the tunnel there. If you play the map enough, it's just kind of a game sense thing, like, you just kind of have a feeling of where they're going to be spawning from. If you've played the map enough, you know where they're going to put tunnels, and... 
That was an RPD behind me. Um, it's a good location for them to be camping with. I hear this uh, AK. So I go in there and kill that dude. And then this was just crazy because you really have to thread the needle here. And I managed to just pop off his head while that guy was ducked. So. You hear a lot of AK fire and uh, yeah, so I'm kind of being cautious here. I want to, I don't know if I want to move up yet at this point because the whole team's getting up there and the, and the enemy's at the tickets, so we got this in the bag, so I guess now I move in and I'm just thinking there's nothing to lose. And then damn, this guy, I couldn't tell if he got, if I couldn't tell if he was dead or not, he like crouched. And so I tried to shoot him through the wall and then someone pops me through the wall. DB20 has got some serious penetration. <laughs> Probably a lot more than the uh, buckshot has. At this point, we're just, it's just a time thing. We're just pushing in and there's really not much they can do. We just gotta hunt them down and take the point. I throw that Willie Pete there, really dumb, because I threw it right out of a friendly and I think I TK'd him. Yeah, that's it for this one. That was kind of a fast commentary and it seemed like it was really action packed. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that commentary and that Willie Pete spam. Make sure to leave a like if you like this video and drop a comment below. Discord info is in the description. Of course, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that sub button. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.